pray you all had a blessed night, a blessed day yesterday, and you're reading the word with us. We're in the Torah reading for this week. Uh, this week's Torah reading is Exodus 6-2 to 9-35, 6-2 to 9-35. And we see the plagues here between uh, the people getting set free and Moses and Aaron going back and forth with Pharaoh and Pharaoh's heart being hardened. And we saw the last, the swarms of flies. And then this week, or oh, this day, we start reading chapter nine. It says, and Yah said to Moses, so we have Yahweh speaking to Moses consistently. That's the theme of this whole Torah reading. Go to Pharaoh and say to him, so says Yah, the Elohim of the Hebrews, send away my people that they may serve me. And if you refuse to send, and still, let's underline and highlight that word still, and still hold them onto them. Behold, the hand of Yah is going to be on your livestock, in the field, on the horse and the donkeys, on the camels, the herds, and on the flocks, a very heavy pestilence. And Yah will make a distinction between Israel's livestock and Egypt's livestock. Also, all that belongs to the sons of Israel, not a thing will die. So here he's specifically showing his, his separation of the righteous versus the unrighteous. And Yahweh set a time saying, tomorrow Yah will do this thing in the land. So this is a more direct thing that's going to happen. And Yah did this thing on the next day. And all the livestock in Egypt died. From the livestock of the sons of Israel, not one died. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, not even one was dead from Israel's livestock. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he did not send away the people. And Yah said to Moses and Taran, Take for yourselves the fullness of your hands, of suit from the furnace, and let Moses sprinkled it towards the heaven before Pharaoh's eyes and let it become dust on all the land of Egypt and let it become boils breaking out into the sores in the man's, on the man and on the livestock and all the land of Egypt. Now, when we think about what this is saying in verse 9, it says, uh, and Moses sprinkled it towards uh, the heavens. And it became a boil breaking out unto the sores on men and on livestock. Well, there was no more livestock. We got to look more into that because all the livestock had been killed. But if we look at the boils on man. You see what Yah's doing. First, he did the, uh, you got the river of blood, you got the, the flies, you got the frogs. And now he's hitting man more personally. His livestock, which is his literal food. And now he's doing it with little boils on the body. Now you're getting into the, the extreme direct health of the people. And uh, so let's go look at uh, the Hebrew Aramaic here for 1910 of Exodus. Let's turn there. For a moment. Exodus 9, chapter 10. Exodus 9, verse 10. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm just curious to see what it says. And they took the soot of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh. And Moses threw it up heavenly, and it became boil breaking from the Blamed upon man and upon beast. Upon man and upon beast, it says. This is verse 10. And, and, and it says here, And the priest were not able to stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boils were on the priest and all the Egyptians. So these were the magicians and the priest of Egypt. And Yah made a heavy Pharaoh, uh, made Harry's, made heavy Pharaoh's heart 
And he did not listen to them. And Yah had said to Moses, as Yah had said to Moses, and Yah said to Moses, get up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say to him, so says Yah, the Elohim of the Hebrews send away my people so they might serve me. For at this time, I am going to send all my plagues to your heart and all your servants and your people so that they may know that I am none like, there's none like me in the land. For I have now sent forth my hand and have stricken you and your people with pestilence and you have been destroyed from the earth. And for this reason, I have made you stand in order to cause you to see my power, in order to declare my name in all the land. Now, let me stop by saying, I don't believe that this was only for Pharaoh. These things were for also for the children of Israel to trust Yahweh, to see his hand on these things, to see the protection he had for them and the set apartness he had for them. So he wasn't just proving the point of Pharaoh because it was the children of, of, of Israel that was so used to the culture of living in the slavery and the bondage that Yah had to somehow show them to have confidence in him and his ways. Now we get back to the text here. Verse 17 says, you still are exalting yourselves against my people so as not to send them away. Behold, I will rain very heavy hail amongst them this time tomorrow, such as never been in Egypt from this day of the foundation until now. And now send out, bring your livestock to safety and belongings to you in the field. All men and livestock found in the field and not brought into the house. The hail will come on them and they will die. But again, it already said here, It already said here about the livestock. In verse 7, And Pharaoh sent, and behold, not even one was dead from Israel. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, as he did not send away the people. It says in verse 6, All the livestock of Egypt died. So we got to look at what's going on here, because they keep saying livestock, but the livestock are dead. And now send out and bring out your livestock to safety and all belong to you in the field. All men and livestock found in the field and not brought in the house. The hail will come on them and they will die. Of the servants of Pharaoh, the one who feared the word of Yah made his slaves and his livestock flee to his houses. And the one who died and the one who did not set his heart on the word of Yah let his slaves and his livestock in the field. And Yah said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the heavens so that the hail may be in the land of Egypt, on man and on livestock and on every plant in the field in the land of Egypt. So let me go here and look at... Uh, So there's different forms of livestock. This one says all the cattle of Egypt in verse six, all the cattle of Egypt. It didn't say all the livestock, all the cattle. But as we look here, we saw in verse 22, it says, and Yah said to Moses, stretch out your hand in the heavens so that hail may be in all the land of Egypt and man and on the livestock and every plant in the field in the land of Egypt. So now they're going after the plants. They went after the livestock already. Now they're going after the plants here. And then Moses stretched out his staff in the heavens, and Yah gave the sounds of hell. And it came down to the earth, and Yah rained hell on the hand of Egypt. And there was hell. The fire flashing in the midst of the hell were very heavy, which never had been seen in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. And the hail struck in all the land of Egypt and all that was in the field from the men to the livestock. And the hail struck every plant in the field and broke it in pieces, every tree of the field. Only in the land of Gershon, where the sons of Israel lived, there was no hail. 
And Pharaoh sent and called Moses and Aaron and said to them, I have sinned this time. Yah is the righteous one, and I and my people are the wicked ones. Pray to Yah and let it be enough of the thunders and the hail of Elohim, and I will send you away, and you shall not continue any longer. In verse 29, Moses said to him, As I go out of the city, I will spread out my hands to Yah. The thunder will cease, and all the hail will not still be. So that you may know that may know that the earth belongs to Yah. Wow. The earth belongs to Yah. And as for you and your servants, I know that you do not yet fear before Yah or Elo, uh, Elohim. And, uh, and the flax and the barley was stricken. For the barley was in head and the flax in bud. And the wheat and the spelt were not stricken, for they were late. And Moses went out from Pharaoh, from the city, and he spread out his hands to Yah. And the thunder and the hail ceased, and the rain was not poured out toward the earth. Verse 34, and Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunder and the land ceased. And he continued to sin, and he made his heart heavy and he and his servants. And Pharaoh's heart was made strong, and he did not send away the sons of Israel, as Yahweh had said for the hand of Moses. So we see all these different things here, and we see here in verse 35, as Yah has said by the hand of Moses, Moses was made an Elohim, in the eyes of Pharaoh, not Elohim, not Yah, but he made, who's made an Elohim in the eyes, in the eyes of, uh, of Pharaoh, but but he still listened to Yahweh. He still listened to Yahweh, but Pharaoh, he didn't listen. The children of Israel saw what was going on, but they still had a problem listening. We're going to go and see in, in the next Torah reading, chapter uh, 10, as we read next week, uh, the next Torah reading. But that was the ending of the Torah reading for this week. So uh, the children of Israel had every example to see what Yah was doing. And we today have had every example to see what Yahshua did. Hallelujah. And now comes the idea of, back then it was let my people go. And today the call is to trust me in all your ways and keep my word. That's it. The word to Pharaoh was, let my people go. But his heart was hardened. And all the plagues came amongst Egypt. And today the word to the people is, follow me. Keep my commandments if you love me. But the people's hearts are hardened. And all the plagues are coming amongst them. And I'm not just talking about the non-believers of, of the nations around us. I'm talking about the so-called believers that are rejecting Torah. That are rejecting the words that Yah is putting out here. They have all the evidence of what we need. The fear of Yahweh to keep his commandments. To be obe obedient to them. But the people's hardened hearts, just like from Pharaoh sending out the children of Israel, keeping them from keeping the word. And they continually deny them, but they continually get these plagues up on top of them. In Exodus 15, 26, it said, if you diligently follow my guidelines and instructions, I will not put the same disease upon you that I put upon the Egyptians. Well, what's happening today? What's going on today? The people are not following and they're getting the same diseases. When the people get obedient with the word and feel good about listening to our creator and following his word. Hallelujah. All right, everybody, thank you for watching and reading the Torah with me. You all have a blessed day. Y'all be with you this day and always stay strong, everybody. And shalom, shalom.